new with Finabler? They always have something going on in the space. So I caught up with their CEO to learn more. Pramon, thank you so much for joining me Thanks today. Thanks so much. Pleasure. So let's set the stage a little bit. How are cross-border payments currently evolving in our industry? So if you look at cross-border payments at large, it has not really caught up with the innovation which payments have really seen in the last one decade or so, for obvious reasons. The reasons being, first of all, it is regulatory and the complexities of handling myriad amount of currency pairs, the regulations and putting all into place. But having said that, the cross-border has really evolved from a perspective with the increased amount of mobility, migration and commerce. So once upon a time, cross-border used to be all a consumer to consumer worker remittances. But now with the increase of mobility happening, where you have got, uh, you know, uh, e-com being a big factor, you have got factors like global uh, payroll solutioning, you have got educational remittances coming in. A B2B as a space is really hotting up on cross-border. There's quite a lot of things happening on that. Same time, the larger theme of making a payment seamless from a consumer experience is one of the driving factor which all of us are driving towards with that. So what makes Finabler then so well positioned in the space? So we are well positioned from a perspective that we are operating globally in 45 markets. Globally in 45 Globally mar in 45 markets. So we have got a scale to do things. So we are a scale player. So we handle $115 billion in terms of volume. There's a scale that factors really helps in doing do that. And what three things which distinguish Finabler is that the first is the control that we have got across payments value chain at a global scale, for at a global scale, for at a global scale, 45 markets being licensed to the way we have been able to do on an omni-channel distribution manner. You serve the consumer in the, the way they want to be served, be it a bank account, be it a mobile wallet, be it a cash, because the world is not a one-speed world, it's a two-speed world. So you have to really serve them in the way they want to be served. And thirdly and more importantly, the way we bring in a technology which is IP-led, in exposing all these things makes Finabler a very unique uh, distinguishing player in the cross-border payment space. So tell me a little bit about the recent partnerships that you've been working on between Samsung and you know UPI. Talk to me a little bit about those. That's an area of focus for us. Strategic partnerships is an area of focus for us because we realize that the payments opportunity on cross-border being so large or $136 trillion in terms of a size all the global players have got an aspiration to come and participate in the global financial intermediation of that. And with the kind of capability that we have built on the global scale, the omnichannel distribution, and the way we have technology, strategic partnership is an area of focus. Two things we focus there. One, how can we make sure that we make it seamless for the consumers? Number one. Number two, how can you hide the complexities as I talked about it, be the regulatory, the treasury complexities under the hood and make it easy for the partner so that they can really focus on what they are doing and we bring the seamless to do that. So Samsung is a very interesting partnership that we have struck where we are allowing Samsung pay holders an in-app a P2P movement of money to 47 countries starting from US. Uh, uh, Union Pay is an interesting thing where we are mobilizing payments from all across the globe into UPI, in, into UPI, into China. Pay is an interesting thing where we are mobilizing payments from all across the globe into UPI, in, into UPI, into China. Could be VAT refunds, could be the migrant uh, money coming in. And also the case of with Alipay is the exact same example of bringing money, whether Chinese traveling outside of China into various parts of the world or people coming into China. So, last question to wrap up. What can we expect next from Finabler? What does the roadmap look like for the next three to five years? So what Finabler is today was not the Finabler three years back. Definitely will be the Finabler that you want you to see in the future. So we are driving a scale. So we have been a player at a scale in financial services business. Now we are driving fintech at scale. You know, we have done a scale perspective of doing that. So what we are building is to make sure that payments becoming seamless and part of an experience, driving strategic partnerships, and many of the markets that we are operating, which are high growth markets, emerging markets, these markets are in the cusp of digital transformation. So we are driving that and building a payment economy for the future. Well, it's clear to see you are a leader in the space, so congratulations on your Thanks continued so much. success Pleasure. and growth. It's Thanks always so much.